Okay, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Acer Aspire S7, um, specifically the S7-392-6832. So first what you wanna do is remove all the screws from the bottom. This is using a um, T6 bit. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Um, once you remove those, you can open it up. Uh, if your computer's just having an issue powering on, you can try using a little needle or a pin to push this little battery reset button first. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, if you're opening it, remove the 11 screws on the bottom. After you do that, you can use a pry tool or your fingernail to get between the two layers here. So just do that and then go around, lift it up, and it'll go up at an angle like this. And then you can kind of wiggle it and it should come away just like that, okay? So that's how you get this cover off, not too bad. Now you can see underneath there's the batteries. Uh, you'll want to disconnect the battery first so you don't uh, end up damaging anything. So remove those um, and make sure to keep the uh, screws in order because they're all different sizes. So there's two screws it looks like holding this battery down. All right, once you remove those two screws, you can use one of the little parts here to lift it up. Just lift it up just like that. All right, looks like, oh, actually there's one more screw in the middle here, sorry. So remove that as well. Okay, all right, now that you got both the screws, all three screws out, it should be able to lift up, okay? Just like that, then you can move this back a little and then you can disconnect the connector. If you can, you can use your fingernails at the edges here or a pry tool. But if you can't, then what you want to do is get as close as you, can, as you can to the connectors where the cables are. And then if you can grab it, I don't know if I can show this because my hand will be in the way. But grab it and then just wiggle these cables and it should pop out just like that. Okay, so there you go. There's the battery. The battery model is AP13F3N if you need to replace that. Okay. So once you got that, you can see the RAM is actually soldered to the board, so you can't upgrade it. And then there's the SSD here. It's a M SATA SSD. These are kind of hard to find now. There's only like off-brand ones. Um, but both speakers, they're connected separately. There's one screw holding each one. And then you just basically pull this connector out with your fingernails. You can just wiggle it out. And same thing with this um, CMOS battery. You have to take the speaker out, but the wire just goes underneath and then the battery is right here. Okay, then you can see these two connectors. Uh, I believe these are microphones and it connects with this cable here. You got this cable here for the trackpad, this cable for the keyboard, and then this small cable here. I'm not sure what that's for. Hmm. Let's see, I don't see anything. Let me see. Oh, sorry. It goes all the way down. My eyes were not working right. I didn't see the reflection. So that one goes to this board here, which is... Hmm, I don't see what it does. It might be like a magnetic sensor or something, because I don't see... Oh, okay, I see. This, this little board, it has another cable going up here, going back. So this gets the power here, and then it goes to the keyboard for the keyboard backlight and then you got the two fans there's the two connectors here so the fans are just um, plugged in like that these connectors are all with these little flip tabs here um, and then let's see if there's anything else you got the LCD and touchscreen connectors this one is most likely the LCD connector because it's longer and then wider and then this is the most likely the touchscreen connector um, I believe this is the charge port. Let's see here. Huh. So the charge port looks like it goes underneath the board here. So you'd actually have to take the board out, it looks like, if you need to replace that. Um, and then it looks like there's the wireless antennas here that are going underneath the board as well. So I'm not going to take out that because I don't need to. I'm just upgrading the SSD. Um, but it looks like if you wanted to do anything with the wireless card or the changing this charge port, you'd have to actually take the whole board out. There's a few screws holding on here all around. Um, but yeah, uh, and then there's one other connector here. I'm not sure what that is, but I think those are the LEDs because that goes into that part there. 
Okay, um, but that's pretty much all there is to this. Um, I don't think there's anything else removable from the bottom. Um, with how thin this is, I don't think the wireless card will be removable. Uh, possibly, looks like there's a second chip there. Um, and then there's the screw mount here. So the screw is holding on here, it looks like, for the wireless card. Okay, but that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this video helped you. If it, de if it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thank you for watching. Um, I will show actually how to remove the SSD here since I have to remove that anyways. But um, yeah, peel up this sticker here. All right. And then you'll want to remove the screw here. This cable might be in the way, so it might need to be replaced Let's or removed. But let's see. Okay. Looks like it's not in the way. Or maybe it is actually. Okay, so this cable's in the way, so you'll have to remove it. So to remove that, what you want to do, let me drain the power first from the power button. So once you remove, if you're removing any of the LCD related stuff, you'll want to hold the power button because sometimes they carry a higher voltage and they can fry themselves. So just hold the power button a few seconds. All right, you can also use this reset battery one as well to drain any other power from like the BIOS. Okay. All right, so once that's all drained, then we can go ahead and remove this. So there's an adhesive here. So you want to peel up, peel up this clear adhesive strip. All right, and once you do that, um, you can see that the connector sticks out a little bit, has some wings. Use your fingernails and then you can grab it and then just wiggle this connector back just like that, okay? So that's how you would remove that connector. So now the SSD is free, it pops up like at an angle like this and then you can just wiggle it and pull it out. Okay, so yep, that's it. Uh, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please remember to like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thanks for watching. Um, you might be able to replace this um, DC jack by removing just a few screws here and then lifting it. But it might be risky because you might flex this board too much and it might crack. So just to be safe, take all the screws out and take the whole board out. Okay. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Bye.